Welcome to St. John's Compassion Camp, our virtual vacation Bible school. We're so glad that you joined us today. All right, everybody, let's get our day started with a, one of our fun songs, one of our favorites here at St. John's, Father Abraham. If you don't know it, you'll catch on real quick, but make sure you're up and ready to move and sing aloud. Father Abraham had many kids, and many kids had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right up. Father Abraham had many kids, and many kids had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right on left on Father Abraham had many kids, and many kids had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right on left on right foot. Father Abraham had many kids, and many kids had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right on left on right foot. Left foot, Father Abraham, how many kids, how many kids have Father Abraham, I'm one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, butt out, Father Abraham, how many kids, how many kids have Father Abraham, I'm one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, butt out, tongue out. So that's all praise. Right arm, left arm, right, left foot, butt out, chin out, turn around, sit down. All right, for our next song, everybody, we're going to do one of my favorites every move I make. So be ready to do the hand motions. They really make this song. You ready? Let's go. Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Woo! Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus, every breath I take, I breathe in you. We're singing waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me, oh my God. This love, how can it be? Na 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 Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Woo! 
Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Here's motions. Singing waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? Na 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 Join us now in our last gathering song, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Oh, my favorite part. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. God, you came to save us. save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Welcome again, everybody. As we said, this is day one of Compassion Cam here at St. John's, and we are so excited. We've been waiting and looking forward for this for weeks, and we're so glad to get this kicked off. Day one is a place at the table. So as you see, we're decked out in our cooking and foodware. Can't wait to see what food items you brought to the Zoom check-in a little bit later. Just remember, we'll start out here uh, on stream, singing and hearing the stories, and then we'll head over to Zoom where we'll be interacting together, both adults and kids. So make sure you have the link ready, and let's continue with this evening. Let's listen now to our Bible story about a father and two sons. It comes from the 15th chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Jesus said, there once was a man who had two sons. The younger said to his father, Father, I want right now what's coming to me. So the father divided the property between them. It wasn't long before the younger son packed his bags and left for a distant country. There, undisciplined and dissipated, he wasted everything he had. After he had gone through all his money, there was a bad famine all through that country and he began to hurt. He signed on with the citizen there who assigned him to the fields to slop the pigs. He was so hungry, he would have eaten the corn cobs in the pig slop, but no one would give him any. That brought him to his senses. He said, all those farmhands working for my father sit down to three meals a day. And here I am starving to death. I'm going back to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against God. I've sinned before you. I don't deserve to be called your son. 
Take me on as a hired hand. He got right up and went home to his father. When he was still a long way off, his father saw him. His heart pounding, he ran out, embraced him, and kissed him. The son started his speech. Father, I've sinned against God. I've sinned before you. I don't deserve to be called your son ever again. But the father wasn't listening. He was calling to the servants. Quick, bring a clean set of clothes and dress him. Put the family ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Then get a grain-fed heifer and roast it. We're going to feast. We're going to have a wonderful time. My son is here, given up for dead and now alive, given up for lost and now found. And they began to have a wonderful time. All this time, his older son was out in the field. When the day's work was done, he came in. As he approached the house, he heard the music and dancing. Calling over one of the house boys, he asked what was going on. He told him, your brother came home. Your father has ordered a feast, barbecued beef, because he has him home safe and sound. The older brother stalked off in an angry sulk and refused to join in. His father came out and tried to talk to him, but he wouldn't listen. The son said, look, how many years I've stayed here serving you, never giving you one moment of grief. But have you ever thrown a party for me and my friends? Then this son of yours who has thrown away your money on whores shows up and you go all out on a feast. His father said, Son, you don't understand. You're with me all the time. And everything that is mine is yours. But this is a wonderful time we had to celebrate. This brother of yours was dead, and he's alive. He was lost, but now is found. Here ends the lesson, and what a great story. Hello, I'm Mark. And I'm Murray. And we're here to tell you about the word empathy. Empathy, yes, empathy. Tell them about the word empathy. Um, uh, oh. What's wrong? Uh, well, uh, uh, you're not gonna believe this, Mark. What? But I can't remember what empathy means. No, that's okay, that's okay. I'll tell them what empathy means. Oh boy, <laughs> this is so exciting. Mark Ruffalo is gonna tell us about empathy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Can I do it? Go, go, please, go for it, Mark. <laughs> All right. Empathy is when you're able to understand and care about how someone else is feeling. Oh, right. That's what empathy is. Yes, yes. I don't get it. What? Hmm. 
sorry. Okay, okay, let, let me see if I can explain it to you in some way. Okay, I'm gonna listen. Let's say I'm walking along and, oh, oh! What? I stubbed my toe. <gasps> Oh, that hurts. Oh, you poor oh, thing. Murray, oh, Murray. That hurts. I it can hurts imagine so exactly much. how you feel. That's Ouch. it. Oh, wow, wow, what's it? That's it. That's empathy. What's empathy? You, you could imagine exactly how I feel. You could understand just how it felt. That's empathy. I still don't get it. What? I still don't get it. Okay, okay. Let's think of another way. Okay, let's think of another way. Um. Thinking. Oh. Murray. What? Did I tell you about that time when I when I lost my favorite teddy bear? Oh no. It was oh, This is very sad. Did you love that teddy bear? I love that teddy bear. Oh, I can imagine exactly how you feel. It's really sad feeling. It, it makes me want to cry like this. <laughs> it was sad. It was so sad. But you know what? What? You know what empathy is. I do? That was empathy. What? You could understand how I was feeling, exactly how I was feeling, and understood it. That's empathy. I get it now. Yes! Yes, I get it! Yes! I understand yes. empathy! You understand empathy, I'm Murray. I'm so happy right now. I'm it happy makes me too. I want to dance the dance of happiness. I can imagine exactly how you feel. What? I want to dance the dance of happiness too. Then what are we waiting for? Let's, Let's do dance. it! Let's dance the best dance. Empathy. empathy! Jesus told this parable. There was once a man who had two sons. The younger brother greedily demanded his inheritance, turned his back on his family and left them for a far away country. He wasted all the money he took from his family. Soon he became needy and hungry. Even though he felt ashamed, he decided to return home, hoping his father might welcome him back. When his father saw him, he was filled with compassion. He ran out to his son and threw his arms around him he was so happy he was alive. The father got a big dinner together with the best food and drink to give thanks for his son's safe return. Meanwhile, the older brother came in from the fields, tired from working hard all day. When he heard the music and dancing, he became very angry and refused to go in. His father went to the older brother to persuade him to come in, but he said, I have listened and worked hard for you all of my life, and I have never received a party. But my brother comes home after spending all of his money, and he gets one? His father said to him, Son, I love you, but people matter more than possessions. You know what's mine is yours. But look, we thought we lost your brother, and he's home and he's alive. Come, let's celebrate him. counts 100 sheep 10 coins and two sons 100 sheep if just a single one were lost who would notice who counted sheep anyway the man did the man had a lot of sheep 100 of them he counted them every day he kept counting 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 it took time to count a long time one day the man counted 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then he stopped. There were only 99. He must have made a mistake. He had 100 sheep, not 99. He counted again. But still, there were only 99. One of his sheep was missing. He was responsible for all the sheep, all 100 of them. Immediately, the man went to look for the lost sheep. He walked and walked, but he saw nothing. He kept walking. He looked to the left, nothing. He looked to the right, nothing. He walked and he listened, still nothing. Then he heard it, a bleeding sound. Bah! He ran toward the sound and there she was, the lost sheep. He had found her. She was too tired to follow him home, so he lifted her on his shoulders and carried her. He was so happy to have all his sheep together that he invited everyone to celebrate. Some people said, What's so wonderful? It was only one sheep. You had 99 others. The man smiled. One sheep makes a difference. Without her, something is missing. Now my flock is complete. 10 coins, 10 drachmas, 10 silver coins. Every day the woman would count them. Then one day she counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She stopped. She couldn't have made a mistake, but she counted again anyway. Still, she only counted nine. One drachma was missing. She had lost one of her coins. The woman lit a lamp to see more clearly. She looked under chairs and in corners. No coin. She looked in cabinets and in waste baskets. Still no drachma. She took a broom and swept the floor. There were crumbs and dust, but no coin. It was her fault. She had lost the coin and now she must find it. She searched again with the light and the broom. Finally, she saw something shining and heard a ping. Ping! She looked down and there it was, the missing coin. She held the coin in her hand for a few moments and then she carefully placed it with the other drachmas. She was so happy to have all the coins that she invited the women in the town to celebrate. Some people said, what is so important? It was only one coin. The woman smiled. Just one coin matters. Without it, something is missing. Now my coin collection is complete. Two sons. A father had two sons. Easier to count than ten. Much easier than one hundred. One day, the younger son wanted half his father's money. It would be his eventually, but he couldn't wait. He was restless, and he wanted to travel. So the father divided his wealth in half and gave half to his younger son and half to his older son. The younger son went to a foreign land. There he had a great time doing whatever he wanted. But before long... He had spent all the money and had none left, not even to pay for food. There was no one to share even a crumb of bread with him, as there was little food in the land. The son went to work for a farmer to try to earn enough to buy something to eat. The farmer told him to go and feed the pigs. Even the pods that the pigs ate looked good. Finally, the son was so hungry and tired that he decided to return to his father, but he wasn't sure what to say. How could he tell his father that he'd spent all the money? His good pants were torn, his shirt was stained, his fancy shoes had holes. He thought, I will tell my father that I made a big mistake. I will say that I am sorry. I will offer to work hard to earn money. The young son returned home. His hair was uncombed, his face was dirty, and his hands were covered in blisters. His father ran to greet him. He was so happy to see him that he didn't care about anything else. Instead of making his son earn money for clothing and food, he gave him a new coat, new shoes, and even a ring. He, then he invited everyone to his home to celebrate. The older son was still working in the field when he heard the happy sounds of singing and laughter and smelled sweet spices coming from his home. He wondered what was happening. He stopped one of the neighbors who was heading to his house and asked, what is going on? The neighbor was surprised by the question. Don't you know that your father is making a big party for your brother to mark his return? The older brother did not know. When the father counted everyone who had come to the party, he realized that one person was missing. That person was his older son. He had forgotten to invite him. He ran out of his house to find his son. When the older son saw his father coming toward him, he turned away. He was sad and angry that no one had come to find him. His father spoke softly. Your brother has come home. I invited all our friends to celebrate with us. You must come and be glad with us. He tried to hug his son, but his son folded his arms across his chest. The older son finally said to his father, 
I have been with you all the years that my brother has been away. I did not waste your money. I did everything you wanted me to do. I never left you, but my brother did. Then you make a big party for him. You never had one for me. You didn't even invite me to his. The father thought, I have two sons, one, two. I paid attention to my younger son, but I discounted my older son. I didn't realize that he felt lost. The father took his older son, son's hands in his own. Please come and join the party. I love you. All I have is yours. Come and be with me and your brother. I have two sons, he counted. One, and he pointed to the house where his younger son was celebrating. He counted two, and he put his arms around his older son. Without you, he said, something is miss missing. With you, our family is complete. Hi, everybody. Do you want some spaghetti? Do you want some sauce? I want you to say the memory verse with me. So let's say it together. We, we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive. He was lost and is found. Luke 15, 32. We are all welcome, so celebrate. 